All right, now for calculating the grams of an excess reactant that are left over. The definition of a limiting reactant is the reactant that is completely used up. Meaning, if you start in this example up here with 50 grams of Na and 50 grams of Cl2, out of one of those, one of them is going to be completely gone. All 50 grams are going to be uh, used up, and the reaction will stop. Um, and so the way we determine which one it is, let me change that color, um, is... Just like in the last video, we calculate both of them all the way to the product. Again, not the only way, and I'm going to show you a different way uh, when I finish here. Uh, but if you have a pretty good grasp of stoichiometry, you might be able to figure out what that is. Um, all right, so I have grams of Na. One mole of Na is 23 grams, periodic table. It's molar mass. Two Na's to two NaCl's, and one mole is... 58.5 grams, once again the molar mass this time of NaCl. So I converted from grams to moles of Na, the ratio, and then back to grams of NaCl. 71 grams in one mole, one chlorine to two chlo uh, sodium chlorides, one mole, 58.5 grams. Uh, so once again, pretty straightforward stoichiometry there. If you're lost there, go uh, watch the other video. Um, so 50 divided by 23 times 2 divided by 2 times 58.5, and I got, uh, according to that 50 grams, I could make 127 grams of NaCl. Remember, this last step right here should be the same so that you can compare. 50 divided by 71 times 2 times 58.5, and I get 82.4 grams. So what I showed you in the last one was, Without really knowing anything else about stoichiometry, you got to understand that the smaller of these two answers is the right answer. I cannot possibly make 127 grams. Because once I make 82.4, all of the chlorine is gone. So this is called the limiting reactant. So which of the reactants is the limiting? The answer is Cl2 is the limiting. I know that because it produces less product. How many grams are left over? The answer is none. Zero grams are left over. Uh, by definition, because it is the one that is completely consumed or used up in the reaction. So then this last part, how many grams of the excess reactant are left over? All right, well, I know that all 50 grams of the chlorine is gone. I know that I'm going to make 82.4 grams of the product. Now notice in this reaction, it's a synthesis reaction, meaning I'm going to start with two elements and I'm going to make a compound out of it. So I have 50 grams of that, 50 grams of that. So I know, according to the law of conservation of mass, I have to have 100 grams when this reaction is finished. Well, we just learned that all of the chlorine is going to be converted to sodium chloride. So all 50 grams of that is gone, and you make 82.4 grams of sodium chloride. So why is it not 100? Well, because there's Na left over. How much? Well, I should have 100 grams. I made 82.4 grams of sodium chloride, so the difference between those two, 100 minus 82.4, which would be 17.6 grams, that's how much sodium is left over. So this is the easiest type of, um, of excess reactant calculation because it's a synthesis reaction. It's not a single or double replacement where you would have you know, another product to worry about. All 100 grams or all 82.4 grams would go into that uh, sodium chloride, so all the 100 grams minus what you made uh, would equal the grams of the excess that are left over. All right, so that's the simplest way to calculate this. Uh, and I'm going to erase the excess here, since I know that this one right here is meaningless, and I'm going to show you another way to solve this. All right, so here's another way to solve it. I know that two numbers that I got are valid. 82.4 is valid. That's how much NaCl I'm going to make. And all 50 grams of chlorine are going to be used up. So what I can do is either start with the answer I got or start with the limiting reactant and calculate how much sodium is going to be used up. So that would be by solving a stoichiometry problem. So I'm going to start with the limiting. So I could start with that 50 grams of chlorine. I know that all 50 grams are going to be used up, grams to moles of chlorine, so stoichiometry problem, get moles. The ratio is one chlorine to two sodiums. Again, I'm trying to figure out how much of that do I need to react with that 50 grams. 
and then one mole is 23 grams, the molar mass of Na. When I solve for this, that's going to tell me how much sodium I need to react with the 50 grams of chlorine that is the limiting reactant. So there's grams to moles times 2 times 23, and the answer is 32.4. So that means I am going to use up or need for the reaction to happen 32.4 grams of sodium. Well, I started with 50 grams of sodium. I am going to use up 32.4 according to the stoichiometry, and you can see the answer of how much is left over is 17.6. Now, that's the kind of calculation you would have to do if you have a single or double replacement um, when you have another product. You can't simply just add them up and subtract. All right, now, a much more challenging one would be this one. Same reaction, but instead of starting with grams this time, I'm telling you you have 1.25 moles of this, and you have 8.75 liters of that at STP. So you can see I don't have grams. Uh, I still want to know, though, how many grams of that is produced. All right, so I'm going to have a little different stoichiometry here. Uh, each one of these is going to be a little different because I'm not just starting with grams this time. All right, so the first step in a stoichiometry problem is get moles. I already have moles in this one. I already have moles. This one I have liters at STP, so 22.4 liters is one mole of chlorine. All right, so now we're at moles of both. The ratio 2 NAs to 2 NaCLs, one mole. 58.5 grams, the molar mass of NaCl, to get grams of NaCl. Moles of chlorine, one chlorine, two NaCls, one mole of NaCl, 58.5 grams. Again, that last step should be the same in both calculations uh, so that we can compare. 1.25 times 2 divided by 2 times 58.5, and I get 73.1 grams. Now, I don't have a reference this time to see whether it should be greater than or less than 100 or any other number. So I have to calculate this one, uh, divided by 22.4 times 2 times 58.5, and I get 45.7 grams. So that's the right answer. I can't possibly make 73 grams because once I make 45.7 grams, all of my uh, chlorine is used up. So the chlorine is the limiting reactant once again, which means zero grams of chlorine um, are going to be left over. All right, so what about our excess reactant this time. All right, this time I'm going to make a, a, myself a little more space here. We already answered that one. I'm going to get rid of it down here. So how many grams of the excess reactant are left over? Well, in order to do that, we've got to figure out how many grams of the excess reactant do I, am I going to use up so that I could figure out how much are left over. All right, so uh, this time I'll start with this answer to convert back. So I could start here again or there and figure out how many grams of Na am I going to use up. Or I could start with my 45.7 grams of NaCl. Both of them are going to give me the exact same answer. You can try it if you want to. One mole of NaCl. All right, so uh, there are two NaCls to two Na's. Again, I'm trying to find out how many grams of the excess reactant do I need in this chemical reaction. Uh, so 45.7. Uh, divided by molar mass to get moles, uh, divided by 2 times 2, so that's not going to change it, times 23. And so I am going to use up 17.96, so 18.0 grams of Na. So that means that's how many I am going to use. Well, then how much is left over? Well, I started with 1.25 moles of Na. One mole is 58.5 grams. So 1.25 times 58.5, and I get 73.1 grams. So there's how many I started with, minus the 18.0 that I'm going to use up. And I am left over with 55.1 grams left over. All right, so there's the other calculation that we have to do. Um, if you solve it the way I did by either doing the how many grams are you going to use up of the excess by using the answer, to the calculation, or by using the limiting reactant, um, since you know that that's all used up, uh, you'll end up in the same place.